Hello everyone, here is the Dr. Rin Kumar going to give the important lecture on how a simple weed become monster and a simple weed and going to challenge billion dollar enterprise in the future. Weed is as old as when the man started the cultivation of the crop since long period of time. But at that moment, the weed was not conceptualized, but they were having the same problem. So as per the definition, we can say that the weed is a plant that is growing where it is not required with respect to the time and place is called the weed. In between, 19, in between the 17th century and 18th century, one of the greatest agronomists, Jetta Tool, he conceptualized that weed is really one of the problem, and he invented Houston a hoe cultivation that can approve the weed as well as pulverize the soil. If you see that at early stage, the man was using hand uprooting and bullock drawn up, uh, weed uprooting and hand hoe uprooting. It was the, these were the major instruments through which they were using to control the weed. But this was the case when the uh, agriculture was considered as a subsistence, means their basic aim was to fulfill the family need and daily requirement. But what happened when around 19th to 15th century onward, commercial ag uh, this was the era of the commercial agriculture. Man started to practice agriculture at a very wider area, but still they are not able to find the a good yield, means 20% yield was reduced because of the different type of the paste. Among them, you can see that 37% yield is reduced due to the weight. So this opened a new window for the opportunity of the different private companies to make discovery of different chemicals molecules. If you see the discovery of the chemicals before 1900 and from 1900 onward, then this was the list. Among them, 240 in 1940 century, this was the major discovery of the herbicide. And later on, so many now herbicide we are not having. And if you see the composition, we are now still using 43% herbicide as a form of the pesticide. And the reason was that because of a single application, you can control the, your wheat in a very short span of the time. And that's why the farmers got very happy because of the wheat control. But this was the case at an early stage when the farmers were able to control by single application. But what happened when they apply the same herbicide over a longer period of the time, the same herbicide could not able to the control weight those that can be controlled at early stage and this is the herbicide resistant weight problem and this created a burden on the farmer and as for your information i want to say that since you believe this was the first weed that got resistant against the atrogen in america so in the third stage of the weed control was the biotechnology the scientists started to think in other way how we can develop a transgenic crop and that have ability to resist the non-selective herbicide so what they found that when they developed the herbicide resistant crop a major discovery in innovation in the agricultural biotechnology and they found that they, they can use to control the all the type of the other uh, flora except to the gm crop but this was having a one of the major drawback is that when we grow it in a natural environment over a large area so it is a tendency in the nature the gene drift will occur in the form of pollen and that will go to the weedy plant or wild relative so when the VD plant will get the genetic composition from the GM crop, so they will exactly the copy the same genetic composition. So they will, in next generation, they will develop the super weed. And when they apply the herbicide, then they are not able to control the weed. So this is the failure of the both side, either company as well as the farmers. So this is the billion dollar losses for the a country or across the world. If you see the, the sign of the example of the super weed resistant to glyphosate, the first weed is the common rug weed that is also showing the super weed type of the symptom in North America. And second weed is the Italian rye cross that is lolium multiflorum is the rye cross and that is showing the symptom of also uh, super weed in a uh, European continent. And in that cell, in the last we can summarize that super weed is an evolution that is start from the weed, then resistant weed, then super weed. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and if you enjoy then you can subscribe me on my YouTube channel Dr. Vinkuma. You can also like my Facebook page Dr. Vinkuma and you can follow me on Twitter.